guys, so today I'm doing a tag video. Um, I saw this video on Forever Kaylin's channel and I thought it was pretty cool. And um, I thought I would do it because it's a lot different than a lot of the beauty tags that are out there right now. So I thought I would do this tag and it is called the Two Truths and One Lie tag. And basically it has uh, a few different categories and you tell two truths about yourself and one lie and then you reveal the two truths and the one lie um there are five categories and i'm just gonna go right into it the first category is badass shit which is basically crazy shit you've done pretty much um so these are the three uh, statements. Two of them are true and one of them's a lie. The first one is, I beat someone a lot older than me with my lunchbox. I set my backyard on fire accidentally. I took my friend's truck for a jewelry ride at 14 and crashed into a fence. Um, the first one is true. Um, I was in third grade and a fifth grader kept um, picking on me and at first it didn't bother me and then he said something really really messed up and I got mad and beat him with my lunchbox and after that he never bothered with me ever again so yeah I wish I still had I wish I had that like bravery like the rest of my school days but apparently I didn't um the next one that is true is took my friend's truck for a joyride at 14 and crushed into a fence um it technically wasn't me but I was with my friends we were bored and it was like three o'clock in the morning we were all bored and we were like let's go on a joyride none of us had our license um, not even a permit, and another girl was driving, I was in the back seat, and we took off in her grandfather's truck, and went to some neighborhood, ended up crashing into someone's fence, um, we did get in trouble, um, and her grandfather was mad, and we had to end up paying for the truck to get fixed. Um, so that's definitely, it was definitely a learning experience, and it really scared us, um, and we were absolutely stupid to do that, and, you know, I was just like, how could we have been so stupid, um, but luckily I'm no longer friends with those people, because they were definitely bad influences on me, because if they said, you know, let's go jump off a burning building into the mouth of an alligator I'd be like okay so um and the one that was a lie is I set my backyard on fire um actually my grandma actually set our backyard on fire one time it was it wasn't funny but now when I look back on it it was kind of funny um cause she had put a aerosol can in the trash and back when I was younger we used to burn our trash because where we lived we didn't get any um, trash pickup service and we didn't know she had put an aerosol can in there and it exploded and the whole yard caught on fire and um, it was pretty bad but um, it was scary I, I was so scared um, grass never grew back in our backyard um, so the next category is music first one is I own all of Taylor Swift's CDs and albums. Um, CDs and albums are the same thing. Why did I just say it like that? I have no idea. Um, I've met all the members of 30 Seconds to Mars. The original members when Matt was part of the group. Um, and the third one is I didn't know any of other music. Kind of, eh. I did know any other kind of music existed except for country music until I was about 10. Um, the first truth is I did meet 30 Seconds to Mars um, when they came to Atlanta 
my friend Diana and I, we went to see them at the Tabernacle, and that was when Matt was still in the group, and we got to meet them backstage, um, got autographs, they were just so nice, and I was in love with Shannon, because he's just so beautiful, and, um, she was obsessed with Jared, and, um, Matt was just weird, he was just like, sitting there and chewing gum, like, yeah, what's up, let's get this over with so I can go home and pee. Um, Tomo was so sweet. He he was just smiling the whole time and I'm like, are you high? He was just like just cheesing his lights out. But they were really nice. I've actually met them twice. I met them at the Tabernacle and um, Taste of Chaos. Jared was crazy because he was like dressed up like a doctor with scrubs and it was, it was amazing. Um, so it was definitely a highlight in my life because I really look up to them and some people say that Jared's an asshole and he can be an asshole but the times that I met him he was absolutely a doll but I prefer Shannon that's just my preference <laughs> um, the second truth is I didn't know any music existed except country until I was 10 that is true um, I lived a very sheltered life when I was younger I didn't know that there was other kind of music out there except country music and when I joined Girl Scouts around 10 um, I got introduced to Britney Spears and NSYNC and I was like wow there's different music besides Shania Twain and Faith Hill and Leanne Rhimes because that's all I listened to was country and now I really don't listen to much country um, but that's all I knew when I was younger, because that's all I grew up around. Um, my grandma used to play country music all the time. Conway Twitty, George Jones, rest in peace, <laughs> both of you. Um, Dolly Parton, Kenny Rogers, like, it was just, that's all I knew. And the lie is, I own all of Taylor Swift's albums. I hate to say it. No, I don't. But I know a lot of people probably won't want to hear it, but I do not like Taylor Swift at all. Um, every time I hear one of her songs on the radio, I have to change it. Um, I did like one of her songs, though. Um, but why are you going to be so mean? I actually like that song, but I'm not a Taylor Swift fan at all. Um, no, I just, I'm not a fan of hers. I, I d like, everyone that I know is a big fan of hers, and I'm just not, I don't know what it is about her, but it just, I get the no feeling from her, and I just, I want to like her, but at the same time, I don't. Like, I love Carrie Underwood so much better than her, and I'm just like, Carrie Underwood, yay! Anyways, so, um, secrets, which is just a general category, some secrets that I have... Um, the first one is, at night, I create my own choreography to my favorite songs on my MP3 player. Um, the next one is, in 8th grade, I used to pray my math teacher would combust into flames in the middle of teaching. And the third one is, I used to bite my toenails. The first one is true. At night, I do create my own choreography to my favorite songs. Um, it's my way of exercising because I don't like the original weight exercise, you know, lifting weights, doing push-ups, stuff like that. I like to exercise, but with fun. And I've been trying to do a lot more exercising because the amazing um, Socialite Sandy has really inspired me to do better and um, exercise and, you know, eat better and, um... I don't really like to exercise when everybody's awake, so I wait till everybody goes to bed around 2 o'clock in the morning, and I do my exercises, and I have my songs on my MP3 player, and I play them, and I create my own choreography for it. Um, I used to be um, in dance lessons when I was younger. I used to take hip-hop dance classes, and uh, I did some contemporary dance uh, classes as well when I was younger so um, I can't dance <laughs> um, 
and I just like to create my own choreography for the songs and sometimes if I see a music video so many times I can actually remember the dance and I'll do that but that's my way of exercising um the second truth is, in 8th grade, I used to pray my math teacher would combust into flames. I hated him so much. He was just so annoying, and he was so rude and mean, and I just couldn't stand him. And I would, like, just sit there and just be like, why doesn't he just, like, combust into freaking flames? And I just, I just hated him because he was, just had the worst attitude. And he would just give me the stank eye all the time, and... I was like, why don't you just die? <laughs> I hated him so much. And he apparently hated me as well. And the lie is they used to bite my toenails. I never bit my toenails. That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> I, 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 no. I know some people used to bite their toenails. And, you know, nothing against anybody who does it. But I just think it's really gross. I don't know. I, no. No. All right. The Fun category, school. Anyways, um, the first one is had a teacher throw a book at me. Second one, had a crush on my science teacher, Miss Moon. The third one is I dropped out of school in ninth grade. The first truth is I had a teacher throw a book at me. Yes. Uh, her name was Miss Kinney. And she was a bitch and obsessed with The Rock for some odd reason. She had like photos of him everywhere. And I was, you know, it was sixth grade. And I wasn't, I'm not very good with math. So, you know, if you ask me a math question, I'm going to sit there and count it on my fingers or write it down on a piece of paper because I'm not that good with math. Um, and she'd ask me a question, you know, and, uh, I got it wrong. She took the damn heavy-ass math books that weighed probably 40, 50 pounds and hurled it at me. Luckily, I dodged out the way and it didn't hit me. But, <laughs> I told my mother about it. My mom was so mad, she went down to the school and she she was mad she was mad and she was like if you would have hit my daughter there would have been a lot more worse coming to hit you uh, so my mom basically got her kicked out of the school and she could no longer teach anymore I mean it was really uncalled for because I got the answer wrong that she would throw a book at me and the whole class was a witness so it wasn't like I was making something up because I had all of, the whole class was a witness because the teacher was like oh she's she's just made that up no bitch I have a whole class full of witnesses and it was so cool because my mom's like you know I'm like a mama bear you know you mess with my cubs you're gonna get torn to shreds and our vice principal was like well we'll make it look like an accident and it was funny as shit but, um, yeah, she, she got fired for that because it's just, like, really uncalled for and messed up. And I don't think any teacher should do, no teacher should have the right to do that to a student. Um, I don't care how stupid they are. I mean, if I would have been, like, that they would ask, what's one plus one? 136? You know, Whatever. It was just stupid. Anyways, the second truth is I dropped out of school in ninth grade, which is true. Um, I was getting bullied. Well, actually, I wasn't getting bullied. I was getting tortured daily. And uh, I had to leave. I couldn't take any more. I'd basically come home in tears. Some nights I wouldn't even sleep. Um, I would beg to stay home every day. Um, I would even, like... I don't know, I would like, I, I would literally lose it, because I did not want to go to school, and I dropped out in ninth grade, but I went back, um, a couple months later to, um, a local college, and got my GED, and graduated before the rest of my class, so, yeah, <laughs> um, and the lie is I had a crush on my science teacher, Miss Moon, I actually hated her, she was stupid, um, 
sometimes she would act like she didn't even know what she was doing. And she would just be talking and she'd trail off and she'd start staring at, like, staring off into oblivion. And I'm like, hello? You're teaching class here? Hello? Woo! It was, she was weird. Um, and the last category is boys or girls opposite sex. But I'm going to change it to love because I just find that more appropriate, you know? I had to write it down on a separate piece of paper because I didn't have enough room. So yeah, I changed it to love. Um, here are the three facts. Um, first one is I have never gotten over my first true love. Second one, I have traveled to a completely to a completely different state to see a person that I loved. And the third one is I would be completely submissive in a relationship and let my partner take control of everything. So the first one is true. Um, I really never have gotten over my first true love. Um, just because I really cared about that person and um, we were together for a long time and talked for a very, very long time and really thought we were going to be together forever and it turned out not to be that way um we still do talk but you know i i guess you never really do get over your first true love which sucks but yeah <laughs> um the second one that's true is i have traveled to a completely different state just to see the person i love um and that was for my first love um i've traveled to all the way to Virginia Beach to see someone that I absolutely loved more than anything, more than life itself. And I traveled there and um, I would do it all over again. And it was worth every penny that I spent. Um, and the lie is I would become submissive in a relationship and let my partner take control of everything, which is a complete lie because I will never be one of those women that lets the people that they're with take control of everything because I like to, I'm just one of those people that here's the thing I have a lot of opinions and if someone tells me what I'm going to do I will tell them where to put it um like I told you know my mom and my dad you know when I started dating or whatever I was like anybody anybody ever put a hand on me that would be it <laughs> I will beat their ass and that will be it um you know I'll never let anybody tell me you need to go to the kitchen make me a sandwich you need to go do this you need to do this you need to do this but like well you need to put your head in the meat grinder um I'll never be one of those kind of like wives or whatever that you know be like I want to have this like that 19 and counting shit where she's like oh I'm just gonna lay here and just let my husband have like 20 30 kids and all this shit uh uh no ma'am no ma'am I'm not gonna be one of those no be like you want a kid you better go find one you better go you better no you better stop I'm not gonna be one of those damn like Joan Cleaver motherfuckers I'm not gonna be that I'm not going to be Joan Cleaver. Hell nah. Like, honey, will you fetch my slippers? Honey, will you fix the dinner? Like, Ward, here's your dinner. Here's your cigar. I'm not going to be one of those. You know why? Because that's bullshit. Like, I'm, I'm not going to be a Joan Cleaver. I'm not going to be, like, any kind of, like, housewife. I'm going to work, do what I want to do. Um, if he wants dinner... He can cook it. I mean, I like to cook, but if, you know, the person that I'm with wants me to cook dinner all the time, no, 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 no. No, no. So, I would definitely not be, like, a fucking Joan Cleaver. You know, like, the old like Joan Cleaver. Let's see. I don't know if I love... If, like, I love Lucy, if she did all that. I think she did. But, like, I've watched a lot of, like, Leave it to Beaver lately, because 
our TV sucks. And she's just like, be like, all up on his nuts and just be like getting shit for him. And I'm like, I would never do shit like that. And like, I know some people whose relationships be like, they be like, give me a sandwich. Give me this, give me that. I <laughs> mean, like, I look at him and be like, you want me to make you what? A sandwich? You do not know how to take two pieces of bread, put some meat on that hoe, and some mayonnaise, and what other condiments you want. You do not know how to do that? Are you retarded? Excuse me, I know some people don't like that word, but are you stupid? Really? You can easily get up and go pee, but you can't make you a sandwich. And you can pee all over the rim of the toilet seat and on the floor, but you can't make you a sandwich. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> I got off track there. Anyways, but I hope you guys will do this tag. Um, I tag anyone that wants to do this, especially Daily PSA, because I love her. And she has told me some pretty crazy things about her life when she was younger. And you guys should definitely check her out. Thanks to Forever Kaylin for doing this video. Um, because... I thought it was a really, really awesome tag. Um, and I tag anyone who wants to do this. Cody, do it. Cody, do it. Um, why don't you find me, Captain? Do this. And, um, being at Sprinkles, Cupcake Love, do it too. So, I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.